This is yeah. the story of a whole group of people that did something that made an impact. It joined us all. We first met Carrie and Lori riding in 2016 after someone had egged their house and ripped down their peace flag. They are married, they are parents, and they were heartbroken by that attack on them. But the real story is about what happened next. It's now a children's book called Rainbow Allies, the true story of kids who stood up to hate. That's the picture of that day that we took with the kids. The day the neighborhood children came up with a plan to buy peace flags and bike them all over the neighborhood where residents displayed them to send a message. Just thinking about it, I just always remember how like fun it was to do that, how cool it was to see everyone participate. Yeah, I think it just kind of showed how important it is to like treat everyone like family. Brendan Gone is now a senior in college, but that's him on the cover of the book, spreading the message. Just acceptance, acceptance and love is, is really what needs to prevail. Pretty soon, there were flags popping up all over Natick. People through in other neighborhoods were asking too, hey, where'd you get the flags? I want one too. In the interest of full disclosure, I'm pretty familiar with this story because my family lived it too. This is our neighborhood. But the message that we took away transcends any specific place, which is why children's author Nancy Chernin wanted to tell this story. I remember talking with um, not only the kids, but with Lori and Carrie telling me how it had transformed the experience for them. And I believe it transformed it for the kids too, because I think the kids went from feeling powerless to realizing, you know what, we do have power. The power to answer hate with love and acceptance. It's a lesson worth sharing. We're very, very fortunate to live where we live. We're blessed. In Natick, I'm Mary Salada, WCDB News Center 5.